lurking in this forest is one of North America's most damaging invasive species. It might surprise you. In fact, if you're a gardener, you might even think of them as heroes. During the last ice age, glaciers wiped out most of the earthworms here. And over the last 15,000 years, our forests evolved without them. These are from Eurasia. If you're thinking, but they're good for the soil, it's time for an ecology lesson. In our native forests, decomposition was slow. Fallen leaves piled up over decades, forming thick, spongy layer called duff. This duff layer contains seeds, nutrients, and moisture for our native ferns, wildflowers, and tree seedlings. Earthworms are voracious little eaters, and they can break down the protective duff in a single season. They quickly turn the nutrients in the leaves into castings, or poo, but their burrows act like drain pipes, washing the nutrients past plant roots and essentially removing them from the ecosystem. This is why girls need pockets. There's more. The spongy duff layer is a mulch, and when it's gone, the soil dries out and becomes compacted, reducing the water available for plants and even increasing erosion. Sorry for the mess. In ecosystems, everything is connected, and by eating the forest floor, earthworms literally alter the entire forest. They reduce native plant diversity, which removes habitat for many ground-dwelling animals, like invertebrates, mammals, and birds, which then reduces the food for larger predators. And to add insult to injury, it favors invasive plants, which co-evolved with the earthworms and their native habitats. Basically, these little creatures re-engineer entire ecosystems. This story isn't just about worms. It's a lesson in ecology and how small changes can trigger big unforeseen consequences.